This presentation is for those growers and homeowners that are considering a soil test. This is the who, what, where, when, why, and how of soil testing. I'm Stacy Strickland. I'm the county agriculture agent. First, who should take a soil test? If you're thinking about liming or fertilizing a crop, you really need to do a soil test first. A crop in this situation can be a lawn, whether it's your blueberries or your citrus or flowering plants. You should take a soil test for three major reasons. First is fertilizer is expensive and you want to make sure that you're not applying too much. It can be environmentally harmful. We want our crops to grow well so a soil test is going to make sure that you're not applying too little. Too much is a bad thing, too little is a bad thing. And we really want to be environmentally conscious in all the decisions that we make. Florida is a state that sits on a giant aquifer and we really want to make sure that we protect that aquifer for the future generations. So when should you test your soil? That depends on the value of the crop. For example here, the high value crops we may test four to six times per year. For our lower value crops like pasture, we're only going to test that every three, four years. And how much does it cost? An analysis of your pH your phosphorus, your potassium, calcium, and magnesium is going to be given to you at a cost of seven dollars. In, in certain situations for certain crops we're interested in micronutrients so we can test those for an additional five dollars and we can have an organic matter test for about ten dollars. This is important the organic matter test is for blueberries. The electrical conductivity or the the amount of salt in the water is is a measly two bucks. Um, this is important for those folks that live near the coast where saltwater intrusion may be a problem. So how do you take this soil test? What I have here is a is a representation of a 20 acre field. On this 20 acre field without much variation in the topography we're going to take uh, around six or seven samples. A person would actually go out into this 20 acre field with a five gallon bucket and that five gallon bucket and a shovel and you're going to take it from these seven places that you see represented and you're going to combine all those samples in that five gallon bucket so we're really only sending off one sample to the extension soil testing laboratory in Gainesville. This is an example of the kit that you can get from our friendly folks here in the office. You're going to need a testing sheet that, that's going to identify your name, your address, and, and the crop codes. The crop codes are on the back of the sheet and here we have two bags along with the box this, this uh, already addressed. If you have any questions please call our office at 754-4433. Thank you.